Hello, this is Tutorial Island. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your development environment by using Vagrant and how to start up your very first Laravel framework uh, project. So first of all, you will need to download and install GitHub desktop client from desktop.github.com. After installation, you should log in with your GitHub account. After that, you will need to download VirtualBox from virtualbox.org and install it. And lastly, we'll need to download and install Vagrant from vagrantapp.com. And after installation, you can either follow getting started a guide and uh, configure uh, Vagrant by yourself, or we're going to use Laravel Homestead installation for Vagrant instead. Uh, so if you installed uh, GitHub, you should be able to access Git shell, which is something similar to terminal in Linux. So if we uh, going slightly down here, we actually seeing the command which is a vagrant box at Laravel slash homestead. That's basically saying that we should add box which is virtual machine image which is named Laravel homestead. So if I click enter, it will allow us to choose what type of uh, image we want. We uh, can choose from VirtualBox, which we're going to use because we're using VirtualBox. Or if you're using VMware, you can choose type 2 and use that instead. Now, I would like to uh, mention that I already downloaded the uh, image Laravel Homestead. So I'm going to get error now. So after clicking that, it says that I already have this box downloaded and I'm not going to start that again but uh, it will take for you about a half hour or something around that depending on your internet speed and after uh, your download is uh, done you can uh, check uh, vagrant minus uh, sorry vagrant box list to see what uh, vagrant boxes you have so in my case i have laravel homestead only uh, after that we actually can uh, clone a github um, from github a homestead application uh, to your um, user profile uh, folder so to go to your user profile folder simply type a cd and tilde sign and we change the directory to c users limo limo is my username generated by windows so after that we can simply type git clone https uh, colon slash slash uh, github.com slash laravel slash homestead uh, dot git and folder in which we want to download everything. So since I don't have a folder a homestead it's going to be created and all the project will be populated in that folder. So after clicking enter, it starts to cloning uh, all the project. And now we can CD, so we change directory to homestead and click enter. As you see, now we have this uh, text master, which indicates that inside of this folder, we have vagrant file, which is vagrant uh, configuration file. So now what we need to do next, we need to uh, run command bash init dot sh and that's going to execute this file so if i type bash init dot sh and click enter as you see homestead was initialized so that means we just initialized the homestead and we have access to our homestead yaml file which is our configuration uh, file which we're going to edit right now so I have Atom, which is my text editor, open it as administrator. So I will be able to uh, actually edit a uh, host file, which is uh, populated in C drive, Windows, System32, drivers, APS, and hosts. Uh, but this is slightly later. Uh, so first of all, uh, we just initialized our homestead. And instead of homestead, we have a homestead.yaml file so if we open that one with atom oh actually it's opening a new one 
uh, okay that's weird but okay so I have four cores CPU so I will uh, give two CPUs for my virtual machine so now we have uh, this authorization which is SSH keys uh, we can generate one SSH key simply by typing to our terminal window um, code SSH minus keygen minus T RSA minus C capital and between quotes you can type your email on in my case I will type tutorial island.net and click enter and that's asking me to uh, where to save you simply just agree with everything you don't need to type any passphrase and that's it we generated ssh don't worry about that uh, now for too much okay after that we as you see we have this uh, ip address which is actually our localhost address which we're going to use for programming uh, so to do so we can actually define our sites so sites are our domains on which we actually going to work and how we going to access our uh, projects so if I type something like laravel.dev and I'm going to point to folder home in our um, Linux machine which is our vagrant uh, development environment after that, Vagrant is our uh, user for that machine. Uh, I don't want to use code, I want to use projects. But you can choose whatever you want. This is just path to your project files. And after that, Laravel. I would like not to use capital letter. And public is where your index.php is uh, stored in Laravel project in, in general. So after that, I would like to make a second project so you know how that is done. I will call that homestead.dev and I will rename that to homestead. And both of those will use Laravel. And we will want separate databases for those two as well. So databases and migrations of databases will be created automatically by Laravel. After that you can manipulate those. Uh, I will show these uh, things in uh, future tutorials. So folders which we going to map. So in our uh, folder we actually going to use github folder where, our, uh, where all of my projects will be. So I will type projects and go inside of that and copy path of this folder and I'm going to put it here I'm using this actually I would need to change backslashes to slashes I'm using this one because this is in OneDrive so all of my projects will be backed up in the cloud and in Vagrant I just would like to use projects in general so this folder will be uh, synchronized between uh, my uh, development environment and my actual machine. So now I can save this one and we don't actually will need to open this file again. So we just copy this IP address and after that we can open our host file. So inside of host file you type this IP address tab and we need to type laravel.dev which is our site defined here and after that we need to copy that and paste it here and we're going to use homestead as our second project so laravel will uh, find out which project basically by pointing out to your domain which you define here so that's it with the hosts file we can actually close this so next what we should do is we should run Vagrant. So Vagrant up. That is important that you would be in a homestead folder which has Vagrant file. So if I click enter here.
it will start up our uh, virtual box which you're not going to see uh, visually it's uh, starting up in background and it will run pretty smoothly so each time you start to programming you will have to go to this folder draw the shell and uh, start uh, vagrant by typing vagrant up So I actually can try to open homestead.dev which is not yet ready, not yet ready, and now it's ready. As you see, no input file specified. And same will be for laravel.dev. If I type, the same thing exactly is happening. So okay, uh, now our Vagrant is up and we can connect to our uh, uh, like development environment machine by typing vagrant ssh and we actually connecting now to our linux machine which is inside our virtual box so if i list our uh, projects you see we have a uh, projects folder we can uh, change a uh, directory to projects and this is our empty directory at the moment so we're going to create a our uh, project here uh, by using composer create dash project dash dash the third dash dist space laravel slash laravel and slash your project name so as you remember we have two projects one is called laravel so we're going to just simply type laravel and click enter and now it's actually downloading uh, laravel files this will take a couple minutes as well Okay, it seems like uh, it's kind of done with the downloading Laravel project for our project called Laravel. And uh, it's going to take a couple of uh, moments more. Okay, so it's done. So now if you list, we actually see that it created folder Laravel. And if I cd to Laravel, and ls you will see it has a lot of files in it now so i'm going back to the previous folder which is our all projects and i'm going to do the same for our another project called homestead before i run this application i would like to display you that homestead is still having no input file specified but if i reload laravel.dev it will actually load the laravel file just uh, super nice and um, easy to set up. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do the same thing for um, Homestead, which is now going to download all the uh, Laravel files uh, for this project. And while it's doing that, we can actually uh, slightly edit our project Laravel. Uh, to edit the view, we simply uh, open resources, views, and welcome page. In this case, I'm going to change the Laravel 5. Maybe I will duplicate this row and type tutorial island.net. In this case, maybe we don't need space. So after reloading this, we actually see tutorial island.net. 
So that's how easy it is to uh, start up Laravel project. Obviously, that's now just one page, but still. So in future updates, I'm going to show you more how to create controllers, how to make views, how to edit the data in database, config some stuff, and then things like that. So I assume our homestead is downloaded as well. I mean homestead app. And if we open this and refresh, that's also running and ready, and they are completely separate projects, which is very nice. Okay, so thank you for watching, and see you next time.